Hey guys, this is Chase, that guy with the gloves, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a showcase on a custom I made for Wadfigs. He supplied me with this uh, Seth Rollins figure, which is Seth Rollins head and Cody Rhodes, rest of the body, and um, Elite 20 Cody Rhodes. So, what did we do here? Well, starting off, I took some sandpaper and rubbed away all of the deco that was on this Cody Rhodes figure. You know, he had the red, the white, and the black trunk, so I had to basically scrape all that stuff off. And you know what? It came off pretty damn well. And I had pure white tights all the way around, so that was really cool. Going back, if the Bo Dallas figure was out, that would probably be an easier figure to start with. So if you want to make the Seth Rollins custom for yourself, I'd say pick up the Elite 36 Bo Dallas and go from there. So let's get into the details of this custom. So first thing, scraped off all of the white wrist tape on his right arm and gave him that neon green and black uh, wristband. Over here, didn't really do a whole lot to it, I just uh, painted a little more white on it and did those little X things on there. The trunks were an interesting challenge. I could not find a whole lot of good photos of this trunks design. The front, I did get some, but the back, not so much. But I really, really like how this turned out. It was kind of like, it's supposed to be like a picture of Seth, and he's doing almost like an energy beam attack, and you see all the effects and ripples from that. So I think that's really cool. It was a fun, this was a really fun custom to make. And on the back, again, I didn't, I didn't have that many good photos, so I just had to reference other people's customs and some uh, creative superstars that I saw on various WWE games. So it's just got kind of like an energy effect going towards the center of his butt there. And uh, yeah, it looks okay. You know, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Didn't have a white knee pad, unfortunately. Again, wish I had that Bo Dallas figure for this. So I just painted a black one and then touched up the very top of the rim so it looked more like the actual knee pad that he wore. The boots, these were the coolest things to do on this custom. So on his right boot, it's it's black is the primary color and then he has um, kind of like a Grim Reaper or Death or something like that on this one. And then it's got, you know, just kind of like a, almost like a Rising Sun type style with the, the black and green parts shining out of him. And yeah, I really like how that one turned out. Um, on his left boot, I had to repaint this whole thing white. It's got that green energy effect, same as the other boot. He's got a shield and a sword. So it's kind of like an angel, almost like, I don't know, it's, it, maybe it's almost like two different versions of the Angel of Death or something. I'm not really certain, but yeah, I think it's really cool. It's pretty badass looking. Let me line his feet up there. There we go. So yeah. And again, white's one of those really hard colors to do. You have to do a lot of coats, especially when you're painting on black, just to make it look even. So again, thank you Wadfix for the trade. He gave me the Legend Series Macho Man Randy Savage and a custom uh, kind of 97, 98 Undertaker that he made, which I'm going to touch up and do some, uh, some customizations to it myself. Okay, now I have gotten offers from other people to make this custom, which I did agree to it, but I just want to point out, I'm not going to be making 20 or 30 of these guys. I'm not a sweatshop. You know, I can't hire child labor force because, you know, American laws. Kidding. So, but please understand, I would love to make customs for everybody. Sometimes I just can't. I either don't have the time or the offer is not good enough. So, please understand that. Only one man here. One man show. Wadfix, thank you again for this challenge. This was really cool. This was a fun custom to make. I hope you do enjoy him, sir. I'm going to get your other small item that we're working on done and sent out to you ASAP. Now that meltdown is done. So, this was Chase from Burnout Inc. That guy with the gloves. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out all my social media accounts down there. And I'll see you next time. Remember, folks, don't sell out. Buy in.
got that green energy. Uh, it's got that green energy effect, same as the other leg. Three, two, one. This was Chase from Burnout Inc. That guy with three, two, one.